Recently, Anthropic released Claude 4, and everybody is asking the same question. Did Claude 4 cook Gemini 2.5 Pro? Today, we are going to try to answer that question. So let's start with an easy one, which is to create a fully functional Tetris clone game. I am going to be using Sonnet 4 because it is way better than the Opus 4 model of Claude that they released. Claude is now writing the code. Let's see how good the game is. But first, let me copy this text right here, and I'm also going to paste it in on Gemini 2.5 Pro on Google AI Studio. Keep in mind, to get the best result for your game, you should always choose Gemini 2.5 Pro, not 2.5 Flash or 2.5 Flash Preview. This is the Tetris game that Claude 4 has created. As you can see, this is a really cool looking game. You can move the objects using the arrow keys and also rotate them using the up and down arrow keys, which is really cool. This is an actual functional Tetris game. And Claude just did it in one shot. This is amazing. Let's see whether we can complete a single game. So like in the normal game, when these objects reach the top, you automatically lose the game. This was a completely good and functional piece of software that I was able to generate with just a single prompt. So this is the code that was generated by Gemini 2.5 Pro. One thing here is that you are not able to preview the code directly on the website. You need to download it in the HTML file format and thereafter open it. Firstly, the UI design of Gemini 2.5 Pro is worse than Claude's. But what I like here is that this game has a start button and a pause button, whereas there are no such buttons on the game designed by Claude. Let's start the game. So the mechanism of the automatically falling tiles really does not work in the game generated by Gemini 2.5 Pro. The user needs to manually click on the tiles to make them fall, which is really not a feature of the original game. You should keep in mind that I did not ask these AI models to create a game inspired by Tetris. Instead, I asked them to create a clone of Tetris. In that manner, I think Claude 4 beats Gemini 2.5 Pro by a landslide. You should also take into account the beautiful design that was generated by Claude for the game. I think that Gemini 2.5 Pro is a good model, but for this round, Claude wins the point by a landslide. Let's now start a new chat and ask these models to create a model of a robot. I'm going to first ask Gemini 2.5 Pro to create a model of a robot using HTML, CSS, and Java in a single HTML file. This is the prompt I'm going to give these two AI models to create a model of a robot. Let's see what kind of robot these models can generate. I'm going to copy the text and also paste it into Claude. These models take around 30 to 40 seconds to generate the complete code of the game. In that comparison, the models Gemini 2.5 Pro and Claude 4 are really similar and almost identical. This was the 2D model of a robot that was created by Claude. Let me download the HTML code and open it in my browser. This is the model of the robot right here. As you can see, this robot is really cool. At the bottom of the screen, you will see many buttons by clicking which I can control the robot. Let's first click on the button Dance. The dancing animation is really not that cool. It's like the robot just rotated. Let's click the wave animation. The wave animation is also really not that great. Just look at how the hands of the robot are detached from the body of the robot. They are not working properly. Let's see what happens when we click the power up button. It just creates a glowing effect on the robot. Even though the design and the colors of the robot are cool, this is really not a great model of a robot. So let's see what kind of robot Gemini has generated. Let me just download the code here. Now let's open the file. This is the robot that was generated by Gemini 2.5 Pro. This thing looks really ugly, and it is also absurd, like the robot that was generated by Claude Sun A4. A nice feature here is that whenever I move my mouse, the eyes of the robot follow the movement. When I click the robot, the color of the eye changes. And there is also this command box where you can give commands to the robot. Let's see whether I can type any command. I'm going to type a command for the robot to dance. Wow, the robot automatically dances, and the dance is even cooler than the dancing motion of the robot generated by Claude, which was just a rotating motion. Now, let's ask it to become sad. It automatically becomes sad. Now let's ask it to become happy. I think there is not a command for becoming happy. I'm now going to ask this robot to walk. Let's see whether there is a prompt for walking. It seems like the robot cannot walk. But I really like that in the chat system, like how it automatically responds, I'm still learning. Can you try a different command? These are the commands it can do. Hello, status, joke, dance. Let's see what happens if I ask it to tell me a joke. Oh, what do you call a lazy kangaroo? Pouch potato. 
What? This is really stupid. The joke is not funny at all. Still, even though the robot is not that good looking compared to the one generated by Claude, in terms of functionality, I think Gemini beats Claude here. So this point goes to Gemini 2.5 Pro. Anyway, now I'm going to ask for a comprehensive ant strategy game with lots of features and elements to make it visually beautiful. This is going to be a really hard thing for the AI models to pull off in a single prompt. Let's see whether these models can do it or not. This is the game generated by Claude. Let me first download the HTML code so I can open it in the browser. Right off the bat, this game looks really cool. There is a lot of functionality, and I really like the animations of the buttons. Let's start the game. But nothing is happening when I click start. So the problem is that the response was cut off because Claude's message hit the length limit. I need to just click continue to fix the problem. As Claude is fixing the problem, let's look at the game that was created by Gemini 2.5 Pro. Right off the bat, the website looks really ugly. The game is not great and isn't working properly. For example, the workers can't bring food to the queen. They're stuck. The survival elements I asked for are also missing. This is not a good game. Let's see what Claude has generated. This is the game. As you can see, it already looks much better than Gemini's game. The ant animations are really cool. There are many options to play the game. But it is not exactly a strategy game. You can add food, materials, larvae, etc. You cannot directly control the ants. These are the enemies the ants need to fight. All the features that I asked for are present. This is a good game, but not as good as I expected. Perhaps my prompt was too long. That's why this game didn't work properly. I think that the game was not created properly by either model. Still, Claude 4 wins this round by a landslide compared to Gemini 2.5 Pro's output. Let's now ask these AI models to create a 3D world. I'm going to ask Claude, can you create a 3D interactive world which the user can interact with in first-person mode using P5, J, S, and HTML? Let's give the same prompt to Gemini 2.5 Pro. This is the code generated by Gemini. It doesn't work. And this is the world created by Claude 4, and it looks really cool. Except that the city looks cool. There is nothing remarkable about it, like the user can go through walls. The first-person logic of the game is not set properly. But still, it is better than the output of the Gemini model. So, this point also goes to Claude 4. So, after doing the review, it is clear that Claude 4 is better than Gemini 2.5 Pro in coding. But now, the question is, did Claude Forsonet absolutely destroy Gemini? And the answer is no. Because even though Claude Forsone is better than Gemini 2.5 Pro, it is not drastically better. It is about 10 to 15% better than Gemini. But the main problem with Claude is that the context window of the Claude 4 model is really small, like 200,000, whereas the context window of Gemini 2.5 Pro is 1 million. Because even if Gemini 2.5 Pro is worse in coding than Claude 4, it still makes up the difference with its larger context window. So, in conclusion, Claude 4 did not actually cook Gemini 2.5 Pro. 